<sighs> okay. Breathe. <laughs> deep breaths. Deep breaths. <laughs> take, take, take a drink if you have to. <sighs> I'm, I'm going to take a drink. God. Damn. Okay. <clears throat> you magnificent dumbass. <sighs> what? And and you're plotting a revolution too. It's shameful behavior, Naruto san. Absolutely wicked. Is this the real life? <laughs> <laughs> Is this the to see? Come uh... <laughs> please end my reality. And <sighs> 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 hey, this video. Oh, oh God! It's Christ. Uh. Now explain yourself. Tell me everything. This is where... Thank you, Rinosuke! Fucking thank <laughs> you! Uh. I love this game! <sighs> My head hurts, How but could... I love this game! <laughs> How could you do it? For pity's sake, open your eyes! I'm not a Russian revolutionary, <clears throat> obviously. Yeah, yeah, uh... Oh, uh, forgive me. As that's, for you, oh, yeah, and as for you! Enough. What kind of induction was that? You were just saying the first thing that came to your head! Thank you! <laughs> Rinosuke, <laughs> fucking thank you! Ugh. <sighs> This is some, this, as this, always, sending Philadelphia bullshit! <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, this is gonna be a good series. Ah, but wasn't that right? Fuck you! No, you weren't! <laughs> <laughs> Whilst well, venturing toward foreign clients, you do find yourself in the most troubling predicament. Do you not? Well, yes. Maybe. It's, it's your fault, but yes, I do. <laughs> There you have it, you see. What do you make of that, hmm? Well, to be honest, you're a complete fucking idiot. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> this ship is on route to England, and I'm ha in handcuffs at the scene of a murder. So, I'm not really sure you could call it deduction. It's more plain observation. Indeed. An observation, my dear boy, is the basis of all deduction. Okay, guy. <laughs> I swear, this guy's gonna break me. Uh. <laughs> I love him, but he's gonna break me. <laughs> my method is founded upon the observation of trifles, you see. I announce my findings with a brassy certitude. And more often than not, I'm right. Ah. Uh. Wow, he's every single internet leaker ever to exist. This guy is like every redditor. Like you go on Reddit and you'd find <laughs> yes. He's probably he's probably the person that invented Reddit. Probably. I would not be surprised. I don't think you introduced yourself. Ah, my apologies. How remiss of me. I am none other than the greatest detective of the century, known to men and women in the world men and women the world over. The in the in the uh, the the inim uh, inimitable Herlock Soames. Oh. That name just oh. really gets to you. That now oh. we're having Dell's breakdown here. Uh. Del, you're not allowed to break down yet. I still need. You. Let me know that I'm not calling him Herlock Soames at all. I will be referring to him as Herlock Soames as he needs to be redressed. If anyone else does that in the comments, I will punch you down and, uh, I'll figure that out later. So, it's really you, the actual Sherlock Holmes? The very same. The inimitable actual Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> you know this man, susato san The most famous detective in the world? naruto san of course I do. There's obvious- there's nobody who hasn't heard of him. What planet have I been living on, then? <laughs> I feel the same thing, dude! I feel the same fucking thing! 
You must ask him what he's deduced. He will have worked out the entire case already, I'm sure. Yeah, he'll work out this case like a meth head in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> His deductions are what happens if you describe this case to a mental patient. Or an, or, a, or an ice head in Australia. Same difference, really. Uh. Really? Why do I feel uneasy about this? <laughs> Uh, and then now we can talk to him, even though I'm pretty sure neither of us want to. I kind of want to, though, just because. <laughs> great detective. So, you're a great detective, are you? Sorry, what was your name again? Indeed, I'm none other than the one and only Sherlock Holmes. Oh, I see. You're German? Sherlock, was it? Fuck off. No, no, I have no hair. I mean, I have hair. Uh, please, call me Holmes. <laughs> you can read all about my exploits in this exciting London publication. Oh yes, uh, Ron's Magazine. Full of wonder, wonderful short stories and interest articles from the Great Britain. I never miss an issue. I've sent, I have it sent from England, England especially. <clears throat> uh, yes, here it is. The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. Thank you. Thank you for saving my sanity. <laughs> so, you're the protagonist of a series of short stories, then? Indeed I am. You know, I feel, and you've read so many of your own stories, you start to think you really are a detective. <laughs> so, question, are you sure his name isn't supposed to purposely be a play on words? Of... I'm pretty sure it's not. I'm, I'm pretty it... sure it's not. How would you feel if it did turn out to just be actually her luxury? That was just I would... I, I would commit not feeling so good. <laughs> I, I, would, I would commit self-inflicted not feeling so good. Fair. Which, I mean, to be fair, my body is currently doing a fine job of that itself, but I, well, we won't <laughs> talk about that. Make no mistake, I'm not the bored, deluded fellow you take me for. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Your inference is backward. It, your brain's inside backwards. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck that means. <laughs> but, god fucking damn. Backward? My trusty biographer records, um, records my greatest detecting achievements and chronicles, the, and chronicles them in a magazine. You have a biographer, do you? Doesn't everyone? My go, but my mug is by the name of Dr. Wilson, presently keeping shop in London. Dr. Wilson? <clears> hmm. <throat> I must say, thanks to that publication, I've been fantastically busy of late. By this very moment, I am returning from Asia, having solved the mystery of the Cursed Royal Crown. Really? I can't work out whether I should take this man seriously or not. <sighs> Ryunosuke, I love you. I love you so much. Thank you. Thank you for existing on this journey. Uh. Deduction, you see, is to me a science. Logical reasoning in its purest form. Yeah, your logic's like a crackhead in downtown Austin. <laughs> so we might migrate from Australia to Austin now, have we? There's not much of a difference. Uh, fair. A uh, science. Really? The suit observer notices even the most subtle of the reactions in the subject. A third, of, a third of glance, a twitch of a muscle, a slight inclination of the posture. Fingernails, arm sleeves, furrows in the skin. All these things are data. Right. And the trained logician makes deductions from this data in the blink of an eye. <laughs> the ultimate conclusion is, without fail, the truth. As I demonstrated only a few short moments ago. How can you look me in the eye and claim that? He's British. They're full of shit. <laughs> if you're British, I don't apologize. You guys... Uh. I'm in the USA. 
<laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We're, 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 we're from the we're from the U.S. We're not supposed to have a uh, uh, we're not supposed to be polite. No, we dumped your tea in our harbor for some reason. Exactly. So you see, I have a truth both for observation and for deduction and fame. That is what makes me the one and only her uh no Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> That, that was actually that actually fits very well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Osmus death. Have you managed to use anything about this particular case yet? Oh god, this is gonna be great. Have I managed to deduce anything? My dear fellow. Who do you suppose discovered the culprit in this most coming hiding place? That's right. It was none other than the great detective, detective you see bef uh, before you now, Mr. Herlock, uh, Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> Even you almost did it. Yeah, 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 almost got me there. I see. In other words, I'm in these now because of him. When I became anxious about Cosmo Summit this morning, I summoned all the crew members to force the cabin door open. And I can see myself among the number, gaining entry into the scene of the crime. Yes, luckily for everyone, the great detective, Sherlock Holmes, was on board. And the handcuffs seem to be an excellent fit, Nar Mr. Narhodo. Ah! The very moment I laid eyes on the scene, two facts were immediately apparent to me. Oh, really? Two facts, you say? Two facts. <clears throat> I'm gonna click on that one. Mr. Schultz, tell us please. What two facts were apparent to you when you came to the cabin this morning? Ah, yes. But first, let us let be precise. The two facts in question were immediately apparent to me. Yes, yes, I understand. But what were they? Allow me to elucidate. The two facts that I deduced from a mere momentary glance at the scene of the crime were as follows. Number one, the cabin was locked from within, rendering escape of the culprit out of the question. Number two, the victim was Russian and killed following a dispute with an acquaintance. I swear to <laughs> Guys, I don't think Barry Riggs can be able to make it through this game. <laughs> I love you, but I swear to God. <laughs> I love this guy. I fucking love right. this guy, but he's breaking me. <laughs> Hold on, Mr. Sholmes. Why did you think the victim was Russian? They're about as Ob Russian as his observations. I've uh, observed the dying message left by the victim on the floor. I I'm not gonna try. Me neither. That's that is a Russian word for wardrobe. <clears throat> Do you really think Cosmo Summer would have left a dying message from Russian? In their final moments, many find their native tongue filling their head. For this young man, Russian. No comment. <laughs> Cosmo <clears throat> was Russian, was he? Initially, I considered Gar uh, Gardarob maybe the name of the killer. A certain Robert Gard, perhaps. Oh, Gardarob, not Gardarob, okay. But in the interest of thoroughness, I decided it would be, be wrong not to look inside the wardrobe there, at least. We found Mr. Naruto sleeping soundly. Quite so. I found you. The renowned Russian revolutionary killer. Why is it that I'm Russian, too? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know what? I'm calling this part everyone is Russian. Yeah, but please do. I observed that you were wearing the same attire as the victim. In other words, you were acquainted. And if my memory serves, that outfit is the traditional dress of the Russian people. Our school uniform is the traditional dress of Russian people? I, I had no idea. Are you the. There's no way you're this stupid, Suzano. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay, you, you'll find out here pretty soon that like she's actually just playing along just to like like just she's just playing along just to see like how You didn't long have it to tell me to, like, that, but 
Well, I mean, yeah. God damn. And I had no idea the detective could get something so wrong. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, They're my spirit animal, Rinosuke. I took a photograph of the victim and the, mess uh, and the message. That I might analyze it for possible hidden details. <clears throat> this. This was taken immediately after the young man was discovered, before the body was removed. Yes, Cosma had already been taken <clears throat> away when I woke up. This is the first time I've actually seen him like this. Are you alright, Mr. Naruto? Oh, um, yes. Thank you. Photograph of the crime scene has been entered in the court record. Can I ask you something, Mr. Holmes? What, Friday? You mentioned Russia <coughs> before as well, didn't you? you no, know, when you said I was a fearsome revolutionary fleeing from Russia and all of that? Ah, yes. The train of reasoning that led me to the truth. Truth? <laughs> would, would you mind explaining that train of reasoning to me, do you think? I... Don't yeah, know. no. Certainly, certainly, if it, if it interests you. How many times? I'm not Russian, and I don't speak Russian. God damn. So your deduction just now. Yeah. Um, can we talk about your deduction before? The, th the things you concluded about me, I mean. Ah, the now famously accurate troubling predicaments you find yourself in? Actually, it was the other details I was more hoping to discuss. You know, the merciless Russian revolutionary and assassin of six part. The more sordid details. It was a fairly commonplace deduction. Here we have this morning's paper. The main the main headline reads: Revolutionary villain Borsovic uh, flees Russia via Shanghai. This vessel made a port call at Shanghai yesterday, and, then, and last night the young Russian was murdered. Okay, I was about to ask, how the fuck did we get a most recent newspaper of been on boat for? That that makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. We yeah, was... the, the boat has to like regularly dock to like refill the oh, fuel and all that. Yeah, exactly. Since when was Cosmo a Russian? It sounds like Mr. Holmes has concluded that he was Russian because of what Cosmo saw on the road on the floor. It was a simple act of reasoning to, to realize that the culprit of this crime was the same revolution, merciless revolutionary. One who would kill the very man who helped him to escape uh, after his true identity was discovered. Yes, you, villain Borshevik. Also, his name is very clearly just villain, and I love it. Yeah, I love it. I forget what Borshevik means. Yeah, I don't remember either. No, no, no. How could it be me? I don't look anything like this man. Just look at his face. Well, you are a fearsome revolutionary after all. Therefore, you have no doubt learned to revolutionize your own your appearance as well. That doesn't even make any sense! <laughs> Your words just escape out of your mouth, Do you think they make sense? Do you think before you talk? <laughs> what what education did you receive? And who hit you on the head and didn't hit you again? Oh, <sighs> and I might add, your name does not appear to be on the ship on the ship's passenger list. You just say more. Well, that's because I'm a stowaway. What about the other details? The 16 victims of assassination and blowing up the Central Tower. In Crystal Tower. Or Crystal Tower. Central Tower is in uh, another Ace Turner game. Ah yes, the journalist, the journalist clearly interviewed the man and printed all those particulars in the article. The deeds the man had perpetrated thus far and those he is plotting. Yes, everything about this revolutionary Bolshevik was included. There could be no mistake. 
Do, do revolutionaries usually agree to interview as newspaper article, newspaper reporters? I wonder. Modern revolutionaries do. I mean, <laughs> yeah. modern revolutionaries post post on Facebook and then send a uh, and send their female followers dick pics. So. <laughs> uh. <laughs> God, I'm I'm awful today. Flash, 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 flashbacks to fucking like threat slayer back when like that was a whole thing on Twitter. Yeah. What about the part where you said I was just returning from <clears throat> Afghanistan? Also quite clearly stated here is also quite clearly stated here in the article. Borsovek has recently returned after a period of subversive activities in the war-torn region of Afghanistan. Okay, one moment I need to go help my dad. Okay. Once. Okay. Okay, I'm officially back. Welcome back. Oh. Now I'm uh, going to turn it back on. But anyway, um... Yeah, my dad just needed help with some boomer shit. <laughs> he did, his Facebook wasn't loading for some reason. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Where even is it anyway? This Afghanistan place. Ah, uh, I see you didn't pass geography either. <laughs> yeah. Here, take the paper for yourself. That's a little memento of this great deduction. Oh, um, thank you. I've absorbed all the I've absorbed all of um all that is of interest to me within its pages. But I see no rubbish have been I see no rubbish been nearby. The article about the revolutionary has been entered into the court record. And, you may find the article on the back page of interest as well. On the back? Cast your eye over it sometime if the interest takes you. So you may need someone to interpret. You know, I'm gonna take a second to take a look at it. Okay. On the back. Hmm. <laughs> this is interesting. Have you found something relevant now, Hoda son? Well, no, I... I mean, it looks like it might be interesting. I can't read a single word, I'm afraid. No, nor can I. But look at this picture. Perhaps it's about a beautiful young Russian princess, do you think? She is very pretty, isn't she? I suppose you enjoy articles like this, do you? I... I don't know. I can't make any sense of it. Ah, I'm glad you've noticed this article. <laughs> ah. Allow me to give you the short, short summary of its contents. Oh, thank you. Cops are up everywhere, Miss, Mr. Sholmes. It's about the disappearance of a young lady last night. 
renowned prima ballerina, the Nova, uh, Novovich Ballet, appears from Shanghai, disappears from Shanghai. During a performance in Shanghai, the famous dancer was reported missing. She is, of course, the talented young Nikolina Pavlova. Why are Russian names so hard to remember? It would appear the woman was in, co was in costume when she was found to be missing from her dressing room. Wearing the diamond tiara you see picture, which is worth some 20,000 rubles. Oh, how much is 20,000 rubles? I have no idea, but I'm quite sure. It must have been an unbelievable sum of money. Otosan's eyes are shining like diamonds themselves. The tiara is the property of the Novavich Ballet. It would seem the director was beside herself with glory. Yes, I'm not surprised. The company is, um, is most anxious to recover both Miss Padlova and the valuable tiara. They requested an international assistance at all ports with sailings to Great Britain. Could this be another case of a Russian, Russian fleeing his or her country? It does seem to be the Russian thing <clears throat> to do. <laughs> oh god. But I already have a piece, things piecing together. Do you know? Uh, she is secretly the revolutionary. What's I'm that? not even going to identify the response, Mr. Narhoto. The article about the ballerina has been entered into the court record. Alright. I'm gonna take a look at this real quick. Yeah, hey, might, might as well. I'm afraid I can't read a word of Russian. No, me neither. I have no idea what any of this says. The pair of you floundering is a sorry sight. Allow me to offer you some assistance. The article on the front page of this newspaper is concerned with a fearsome Russian revolutionary. It reads, Revolutionary Villain Borshevik flees Russia via Shanghai. Yeah, I think this- I think this girl- the girl in the back is disguised as Villain Borshevik. That- that's my conclusion, as insane as it may sound. Or Herlock is rubbing off on me and I- and I'm going insane. <laughs> yes, you told us that before. It reveals also that those who see the man's beard with their own eyes never live to tell the tale. Then how the fuck do you get in this picture? My goodness, he is fearsome. Well, presumably the newspaper photographer was alright, wasn't he? The solution is obvious, of course. If he despises his beard to that degree, he need only shave it off. I'm not quite sure that's the problem, Mr. Sh Mr. Holmes. Yeah, okay, go back. I just wanted to see that real quick. I'm gonna take a... I'm just gonna take a look at everything here, cause... Alright, I've got nothing here right now. It's all written in Russian. I couldn't hope to read it. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to just glance at the article. Maybe there might be a picture or two. But you were just investigating. Before we started talking, you were examining Kazuma's desk, weren't you? Kazuma? Ah, yes, the victim. Did you notice anything, anything useful? Anything at all? Observe, for a moment, the desktop of the victim. We see that the victim was engaged in penning some text. London Diary. Cosm was keeping notes of the trip. Ah, but... I don't think you should read his private writings. It could upset people. Tragic. That's something you ought to perhaps elucidate before the act of reading. And you've read it already? It is my business to know what other people do not. Yes, believe it or not, I know a smattering of Japanese. Oh, I see. <clears throat> well, you're about to know what a Sasato takedown is. God. sasato san Aren't you gonna throw the detective with one of your trademark takedowns? I'm sorry, naruhoto san but what on earth do you mean? Uh, 
<laughs> I feel so un I feel you, Rinosuke! Rinosuke, <laughs> I fucking feel you, I... Uh. I might need some liquor after this. 